in the behind the scenes video of Espa's jacket shoot for Savage, their recent comeback song, Giselle was caught mouthing the N-word while lip syncing to SZA's song Love Galore. A clip of Giselle has been making its rounds online. Since then, Giselle has been receiving backlash and fans demanded an apology for the controversy. Welcome to the K-pop Switch. I'm Corey, your host, and this is where you get all your K-pop culture news. Remember to a like and subscribe to stay up to date with this kind of news because you don't want to miss anything. Let's continue. So fans have criticized Giselle for not understanding the weight of the word, even more so because she is fluent in English. Eastman Entertainment quickly removed the video, the video in which Giselle was mouthing the N-word, lip-syncing to Sis's song. But this action only brought upon more backlash and criticism towards Giselle and the company, of course, because why wouldn't it? You delete a video and you expect people to just ignore it or forget about it without an apology. But fans that were demanding an apology actually got one on Asper's official Twitter account. So this is what Giselle said. I would like to apologize for mouthing the wrongful word from the lyrics of the song that was playing on site. I had no intentions of doing it with any purpose and got carried away when one of my favorite artists' songs was played. I sincerely apologize. And then she added, I will continue to learn and be more conscious of my actions. Fans were not only surprised to see an apology from an SM Entertainment artist, seeing as their track record with that hasn't always been positive, and it came from an official artist's account, which is Asper's Twitter account. So there is that. She apologized, and she was able to do it. Don't know how, because SM Entertainment is not good with these things. However, fans picked apart Giselle's apology, saying that one particular line was not necessary. One fan said the following, got carried away, so she says it often, implying that Giselle is used to saying the word. There were many fans that had the same stance, that Giselle using the excuse of getting carried away means that she uses the word regularly, maybe, or just as she's singing songs like these. Fans on Twitter have asked for the removal of Giselle from Asper, saying OT3 repeatedly. Now this is kind of far-fetched, um, because she has now apologized. And this is a very quick apology, this isn't weeks or days later. This is, I think it's a couple days. And this is, a, this, this is new kind of like a reform for Eastman Entertainment, but I don't know. She got her way and she was able to write an apology. So saying Giselle needs to be removed, it's just, yeah, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Anyway, so there has been a debate that Giselle doesn't truly really know the history of the word. And I know what people are going to say in the comments. That, oh my god, here we go again. Another Cabo Vital being defended against because they don't know the history of the word. But think about it. The, the world does not revolve around America, okay? No country is, like, America is not the center of the world. So... This debate is going on because it comes with the fact that her previous educational history, being an international student in Japan, going to Tokyo International School and International School of Sacred Heart. So this means that she is fluent in English because that's normally how they do things over there, an international school. And there are no given facts that Giselle studied in America or actually knows about America that much, okay? 
meaning that Giselle may have truly not known what the n-word actually means. It could just be another word. There are slangs, you know, that people learn in international school, so this could have been one of them. And I'm not defending Giselle, by the way. But Black American history is primarily only known in America. Of course, it may be taught in some countries outside of America, but in my experience living in New Zealand my entire life, I was not once taught about Black American history, ever, in school, ever. So, although I'm saying that, it doesn't ignore the fact that Giselle has been heavily influenced with American culture as her That's Hot graduation photo, quoting Paris Hilton, kind of give this away. So, yes, she does know about American culture. Or, to some extent, she does. Even so, internet users online, online, com in online community forums, have found a way to blame SZA. Yes, you heard that right. So, a netizen said the following. It's kind of funny to me that the lyrics are written in a way they are, but you're not allowed to sing along. If it's a word that people aren't allowed to say, why is it included then? And then another netizen said the following. If it's a sensitive word, why did they put it in the song? Now, I don't know if that's another debate. That's a completely another topic because you can just skip the word. It's not that hard. If you know the meaning of the word, you can just skip the word. So, it is a sensitive word. But... And, like, people are getting cancelled out here for saying the word. But the thing is, it's not used in a malicious way. So, that's where it's kind of like a debatable type of thing. Like, she sang the song, she's enjoying the song, she's not saying it in a malicious way, therefore she's not hurting anyone, but she is hurting everyone in the black community at the same time because she's saying the word. Does that make sense? So, what do you guys think? After all this information that I just gave you, what are your thoughts on Giselle's first big controversy? Do you believe Giselle has no bad intentions? Do you think Giselle will be able to rise from this controversy? And what do you think of Giselle's apology? And if you are from the black community, do you accept her apology? I've seen a lot of black um, Mai's, Asper fans, say that they actually don't care, which is their opinion, and some have said that they've accepted the apology and they're thankful that she did apologize. So here's another question. Do you think people are taking it too far with asking for an apology and then picking it apart? Like, just let me know. I'm sure you, you will let me know in the comment section below and remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any updates. I'll see you next time. Bye.